Hello everyone, welcome to the Star Crochet vlog week 17. I had to think about what week this was real quick, but this is week 17 and uh, this is day one. My name is Joni, I am the Star Crochet and I sell crochet clothing and accessories for men, women, children, and babies. So I only have a knit update today. I was, when I was editing the vlog of last week, I, you know, I went through all of the days and I noticed that I said at the beginning of last week that how I was saving up for the vacation in May and that I was going to only like focus mainly on the knitting and how I have almost finished a project, a crochet project. So then I was like, you know, by the end of the week and so I'm thinking to myself, that's not really focusing on knitting. It's really not. So I have a knitting update to show you guys. And I want to try to keep my words with this week and try to stick with the knitting and try not to zip through so much yarn because I am unsure and uncertain of when I will be able to get yarn again. I am in saving mode because it should be expensive. So, <laughs> so I have this sock right here. It is the fourth men's sock and I am at the end of the cuff right here. Here you go. So I am at the end of the cuff and it, I am using the four weight worsted weight uh, Medela Ombre color, colorway harmony and I am, have just finished the very last 39th row, not just the PN, but the row of the cuff and that my next row I will need to start the heel and that means adding on the second color which is the colorway tranquil onto this the third and fourth DPNs and so that'll be let me see here. That'll be these two DPNs right here. And I'm not sure what color it'll bring me this time. It brought us turquoise in the last sock, the men's sock. So we'll see what color brings us this time. It could possibly be turquoise with like halfway through a different color or something, but it's all gender neutral colors. And so that's why I thought I would stick with the tranquil colorway when it comes to the heels and the, and the uh, toes. So that is what I have next to do. This is the full length of the cuff and this is how tall it is. So it's pretty tall and yeah, this is what I have so far. And this is the only loose yarn that I have. And then when we get along to the other colors that I have working with, the heel and the toe, and then changing back to the colors of the harmony, alongside the foot, it's going to be a lot more of these guys hanging out until I hand sew all of it together back into the sock. And then I'll keep you guys updated with where I'll be at, you know, tomorrow and so forth. So that is the knitting update that I have for today. Hey guys, welcome to day two of the Knit Crochet Update week 17. I have both a knit and a crochet update and I'd like to start with the crochet update that I would like to show you all. So I am still working on the women's dress size large and I am on the very bottom last row of the major increases slash ruffles. And here it is. I'll have to scoot to the side here so I can show you guys. Let's see. Here we go. This is where I'm connected. I just started the last row. And when I got to this row, I said to myself, oh crap, I still have to record today's vlog. So here I am recording today's vlog, day two. And I just have this last row to complete on the ruffles section, the skirt section of the dress. And then it, it's just a little bit that I have right here. It's literally like four stitches. But after that, 
then I just need to crochet, to nation stitch crochet, the straps. That's what I still have to do. And then after that, the straps that have the button and the button on the back of the dress and then that's everything I have to do as far as the dress is concerned and I'm excited because then I just have the size extra large to work with and I'm grabbing my knit project here and I'm just this project is taking me a long time and so when projects like that take me a long time I tend to work on my knitting in between because it I don't want to have to um, unconsciously create uh, what's it called when it's um, uh, I'm trying to think of it in the top of my head trying to create burnout that's what it is I don't want to try to create that when I work on big projects and so you know it's easy when you have small projects to work on to finish them you know right away but with big projects they take time and that's like I you know like I said that's when I try to put knitting in between this so that way the crochet still refreshes in my head <laughs> I'm saying that because it's like I am a machine, you know, crochet machine. And so it's like, you know, it's like me pressing the refresh button over and over again every time I knit with the crochet that I'm working on. And so with this knitting project that I have, it is the still the fourth men's sock. And I'll show it to you guys this direction. And I have finished the cuff. I left you guys off at where I was at the heel the last time. And I am now at the foot section. I completed the gusset section. And this is where I'm at with the foot. And I am about 10 rows in, not DPNs, but 10 rows. And I am using, on both projects, I am using the worsted weight, four weight yarn. With this yarn right here, it is the same mandala ombre. And this blue, dark blue is the harmony colorway. And then this light blue, it turns out it, the whole heel is light blue. So then that means pretty much that the toe might be a light blue. It might be a different color. Uh, the next color I'm seeing is like a red, either red or a purple, but it's still gender neutral. It's still going to be okay. And I'm using 3.75 millimeter DPNs. And that is the knitting update that I have. Hey guys, this is day three of the project update. And if, you, if you're wondering about this, by the way, um, I'm trying to do my best when it comes to skincare and I really don't like acne on my skin. I prefer to have scabs over acne because I really don't like bubbles on my skin. So anyway, um, I'm doing my best when it comes to acne because I have acne prone skin and I'm trying to find the best routine for my skin. But anyway, just sorry. Um, Anyway, day three, I have a knit update and a knit update. So <laughs> the reason why I say it's both knit updates is because when it comes to the dress, I am knitting the parts that, sorry, I'm trying to get my hair away from the mic enough to where it's, I'm able to not cause interference, but also not trying to, you know what I mean? Okay, so... This is the first small uh, strap that I have that is going to go on the size large of the women's dress. And with this, it's it's going to go like this way. So I'll show you guys up close. If you can notice most of my voice too, I am getting a little bit sick again. Yay. <laughs> Anyway, so with this, this is going to be on the right side, I believe, and uh, I have one of these so far, and I need the other side to be completed as well, but I am creating the same thing twice because I want to have this ready to go when I create the size extra large women's dress. I don't need to stop, you know, what I'm doing with the process of crocheting everything just to knit straps for the button and you know side panels for the button and 
see how people do it this way. Cover the eyes. Okay. I had to remember what people say to do this best when it zooms in properly. Cover the eyes. And so I'm creating this the second time. And it is, yeah. So then after I create, finish this one right here, it's like a pink flag. <laughs> then after I create, finish this one right here, uh, <laughs> Then I need to create one of these with the hole in the center, and that is for the opposite side of this one right here on size large, and then a second one, so it can be the opposite side of this one right here, the pink flag. Yeah, so, <laughs> and then that is it for the crochet update. Well, like I said, the knit update, the first knit update, and then I'll be right back with the second knit update. I'm back with the second knit update. So you got it right. It's another men's sock. <laughs> so, this will, these will just be, I was going to say my forever knitting projects, but I don't know because I want to keep update of stock of socks men's and then women's and then men's and then women's. And if you're unisex, you can just um, go off of what um, gender you were born with, and that'll be the best size for you to choose from. Even if it's uncomfortable for you, I do apologize, but that's the best sizing to go by. And both women will be in size medium, and then men will be in size medium as well. So if you're, you know, what gender you're born from, just go with the size medium. And if you're a size medium, then both of these socks will be good for you, the men and women. But anyway, this is still the sock number four of the men's sock. And I changed out these needles first because if you can see this right here, I'm using the blue needles. And that is the needles that I typically work with when it comes to knitting. And when it comes to these right here, these are that plastic prim brand of the BPNs. I know I said before that it's a Prism brand, but no, it's a Prim brand. I got it wrong and I do um, apologize. So anyway, it's the Prim brand and I cannot crochet or sorry, I cannot knit with plastic on plastic. It's very uh, difficult. So that is why these are my substitute DPNs. I halt what I'm doing on the socks whenever I work on the straps when it comes to the button to include. On the women's dress and then I go right back to putting the blue DPNs right back on these loops right here and then I go back to knitting once all of the blue DPNs are back on the sock. I don't knit if there are any of the plastic DPNs on the sock. So anyway here is the update that I am at with this sock. I am more on the foot. I am getting a little bit further I'll show you guys up close. The cuff is still complete, the heel is still complete, the gusset's still complete, and I'm going further on the foot. And then when I get to the toe, I change colors again, and it might be all of this color, it might not be, it might change colors during the toe. I am uncertain. But we'll see, we'll find out together, right? And that is the knit and knit update that I have for today. Hey guys, welcome to day 4 of week 17 of the project updates. I have a finished object, a knit update, and a crochet update to show you all. So let's start with the knitting update. I have this sock right here. It is a little bit further than what I showed you all from last time. It is, um, I worked on it a little ways more on the foot section itself. And here you guys, I'll show. It's a little bit more than what I have from last time. I was about right here last time, and I'm about right here. So I did about mm, 10 or 11 more rows completed since yesterday that I showed you all. And I am using the worsted weight yarn for weight. I am using Mandela Ombre yarn, colorway Harmony. And this dark blue and the heel and the toes I am using the colorway tranquil. So that is the knitting update that I have. 
I will show you guys next the finished object that I have. So I will show you all in just a picture. It is right here, the picture. I have completed the size large women's dress and it is here's the front you've seen and here's the back as well it is already updated on my etsy listings and my squarespace listings which is just my website which is the starcrochet.com and it is updated in this description that it includes size large as well it is updated in the seo and it is also updated in the variations along with the picture that goes along with the size large. So that is the finished object that I have. And then we're on to the crochet update. The crochet update that I have is the size extra large woman's dress that I am working on that I just started today. I was at my psychiatry appointment and I thought that I would start this woman's dress. And I was like, yes, this is my final size of the women's dress and I'm excited about it. So it is very wide right now because I need to still include the drawstring, which I will include that and then it'll look so much better. But I don't have that yet. I need to put that first on the top section only and then when I get the height in the length broken into this bust section, then I will have the second drawstring, which is in the bottom section of this bust area. And then it will be completed on the bust section. And then I will need to do the waist area, which I will then also need to further the length. The width will be completed as well further. Then I will also need to further the length of the skirt length itself, the sage color of the number of rows on the skirt will be the same, but the remaining colors of the soft pink on the skirt will be about two rows longer, and then on the major increase, it'll be about one row longer, and so that'll make the big ruffles in the bottom a little bit more wider than the size large size medium and size small. And that is the update that I have to show you all today. Hey guys, what's up? I am back with day five of the crochet and knit update of week 17. <laughs> so I have both the crochet and the knit update and I'd like to show you guys the crochet update first. And it, I'm still on the bust section. Let me move to the right side here. So I have this completed. It is not all the way completed yet. I have the drawstring on the very top and I need to complete this with the drawstring on the very bottom. I just completed doing the drawstring on the top and completing all the stitches that I need for the bust. So here is the slight V on the chest area bust and then after I do the drawstring on the bottom these stitch markers right here and right here but anyway after I do that I also need to add the waist section and it's going to have a little bit more length and then the skirt section will also have more length and then as well as the major increases on the ruffles on the bottom and then the straps will have more of a length as well about half an inch of a length when it comes to the straps and then the straps on the back section the panels on the back section that hold the i was going to say a sticker no but it's a button the parts that hold the button, it is going to be the same size. I already have it knitted up and it is sitting on my computer desk right there. I, it's too far to grab. But anyway, that is the crochet update that I have. And I will continue to work on that right after I record this. <laughs> That's work for me. So anyway, um, I have this knitting update and it is further along of this men's sock. This is still sock number four and I the last I was at was about right here. I ended with this cake and I had to begin with the second cake 
and yeah, I had to begin with the second cake. So one full cake of the Mandela Ombre Colorway Harmony for men's socks. It'll take a total of three and a third. So, or about half, three and a half, I would say, because this is how far it gets me of a fourth with one cake of the same. And so I started the second cake right here, the same colorway, and then this colorway right here is tranquil. And I have about, let's see, it takes me 54 rows on the foot section, so I have about 20 left, I would say, of the rows. And then I do the toe section, and then I close off with the decreases and then I do the Kitchener stitch and then I'm completed with the sock after I sew in all the loose ends. And that is the update that I have for today. Hey guys, welcome to day 6 of week 17 of the project update. I have both a knitting and crochet update and I'd like to show you guys um, to start off with the crochet update first. I am still working on the woman's dress size extra large and I am up to the waist section still but I have about half of the waist section done so far. A good bit of it done. There we go. Let me move my hair. Okay so this is what I have so far. I completed putting in the drawstring on the bottom half of this bust section and then I added some of the waist section so you can see the same pattern I've been using for sizes small medium and large it is also the same as size extra large as well so I've been doing that you know the single crochet single crochet front post single crochet and the pattern of that and that is where I'm at with the crochet update and it is right now in the color pink with the worsted weight yarn for weight and the chest, the bust section is in the soft pink color also as well the worsted weight for weight yarn and I have a knit update as well so the knit update I have is the men's sock still <laughs> it is the four weight Worsted weight yarn, the same colorways of Harmony and Tranquil, and this is about where I'm at. It's, hang on, I'm trying to fix this. It's just the way the heel is made. It's a little bit different, and so, and so, um, <laughs> sorry about that. And so I had to like fix it a little bit but it looks a lot better now. And this is how it looks so far. It will look a lot better once I block it, trust me. And I'm about, see I have a little bit more. When last time I was about right here, so I did this much last night, and it was nice when I was working on the knitting part because I got to the end of the day, and I already took my melatonin, I already took my nighttime medicine, I already took um, I already had some of uh, the chamomile tea because that tends to help me get tired as well. Without those three things, it's like insomnia kicks in like a bitch. But anyway, so um, <laughs> when it comes to um, the end of the day and I have nothing else to watch, on my laptop I have nothing else to listen to because I don't know why but lately music hasn't been like sounding that great lately like, I'll try to listen to some new music but I'm not good at listening to new music lately and then when it comes to older music you know I get tired of that every once in a while and so I have nothing else to watch like on YouTube or Netflix or Amazon Prime and it's just it kind of makes my mind go a little insane because I always have to have something on and then when I'm you know crocheting or anything outside I listen to music and I just don't like how that is 
today for like my mind or like oh, everybody is like that too they have to always have something on but yeah it was at the end of the day and I just didn't have anything else I could think of to watch so I had my fan on and I, you know I always have my fan on when I sleep no matter how cold it is too and um, I was knitting with just the fan on and it was nice because it was just a well enough of sound. It was good enough of a sound to have my mind. It was not at ease. I was thinking too much. I don't like when that happens, but that's what happens when you don't really have any friends and when you know they're well I, I do have friends I have like two but they don't live near me and you know one's from childhood um friend best friend and then the other is just from a long time ago and you know they don't live near me and it's like I only message them through like messenger and stuff like that and it's like yeah but anyway so <laughs> so when it comes to the knitting and everything it's just I have myself to talk to and I'm sure that gets annoying over time so I wouldn't blame myself and it's just I wish that my mind didn't have to be so occupied on things to watch things to listen to constantly I wish I can handle silence I wish I can handle I don't know. But that is the update I have for today. Hey guys, this is day 7 of the project update of week 17. I have both a crochet and a knit update for you all, and I want to start with a crochet update. So I know I have shown you guys the tube top section for a long time now, and I'm going to show you guys where I am at when it comes to the waist section. I am at the color changing section when it comes to the waist right here. I added two more rows before I began the color changing of the one, two, two, one rows. And then this is where I'm at. I'm at this, uh, I'm connected on the, here on the back. And so I'm at the green section right now. So I'm at the second two before I finish off with the last one and it is with the color stage and it is with worsted weight for weight yarn and so so far I have the colors soft pink pink and then stage I'm going to work with and then when I get to the stage working with only the stage that I am going to start the skirt and it's going to be doubling is it doubling I think it is going to be doubling the stitches of the skirt that I have so far with all of the waist right here and this is a size extra large of the women's dress this is the final dress that I'm creating when it comes to the project of the women's dress I'm trying to fold it a certain way so I can put it away and then I'll show you guys the knitting updates sorry if I sound a little off it's allergies it spring is coming so anyway the men's sock number four I am a little bit further as you guys can see so the last time I worked on it I was about right here and I have oh gosh I need to count this now because this is about 54 rows and then I need to add the toe then I need to decrease the sections, the rows, and then I need to do the Kitchener stitch, and then I need to sew in all of the loose yarn right here, and then this will be complete. But I haven't shown you guys in a long time, it's so cool, but instead of the sock, it's like, ooh. <laughs> and uh, the needles I am using are 375 millimeter DPNs. The colors are blue, and... This is the sock right here. I'll show you guys up close. I am very close to finishing it. But 
that is yet that I have for you all. So if you've made it this far in the video, please subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so you're always notified of every video I create every Thursday and Friday. Like the video to help support in my video and the algorithm and help show other people that my video exists, that my channel exists and follow me on all of my social medias if you would like they are all linked in my description box below my patreon right here has it shows three tiers which is the world the wheel of fortune and the star and all of the tiers have perks such as 10 percent off your entire order and also perks like you can vote on every poll, which is every, like, um, I ask a question. And then I have a whole bunch of, like, li a like, choose one. But what I try to ask when it comes to the polls is, like, what color should I create for the next uh, project? You know, if I have not already chosen the colors. And then all of these colors will be listed. And then you can only choose one at a time per patron. But you choose the favorite color that you think would go good with, like, whichever project I mentioned and the poll question. And then you choose, say, like, aqua or something. And then, like, aqua will be shown, and then it'll show that you voted for that color. And then it'll probably, most likely, show the most popular answers right afterward. As well as what you answered. And so... Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.